What was in the uh, right hand of James Richardson prior to his uh, descent down the stairs here at the Maritime Hotel in Dusseldorf. Final match of the afternoon session. Once we solve that little mystery, we'll focus on the uh, matter in hand. Michael Smith is the matter in hand for James Richardson, having come through his opening match here on the stage yesterday against Daniele Petri. A much tougher assignment in store for the bully boy, but one he should come through, although James Richardson is a player who is certainly showing signs of life in uh, 2016. Um, Michael Smith might just have an issue with the board here as well. He's just having a quick word with Russ uh, Bray about something. Anyway, Dan Dawson's here with maybe one or two answers. I've got no answers. There's just lots of blank looks around our little commentary box at the minute. Elmar Polka MC has no idea what James Richardson was brandishing on his walk-on. The only man who does know is James Richardson. It's in his right trouser pocket. Wow. Paul Nicholson can get himself into the players' <laughs> practice room shortly and find out afterwards for us. Little job for you there, Paul. Just a, just a confusing start to this one. It was a very deliberate gesture. That's the thing as well. A lump of cheese. I've no idea what he's, what he's like turned up with. I thought, it, I thought it was Michael a tea bag at first, but it's first been, that's, that's since been dismissed. <laughs> Gloriously oh. random as James Richardson takes to the European darts open stage with a tea bag, <laughs> <laughs> waving it around. Well, <laughs> Each player from now on has to bring on an object, <laughs> their favourite object. But something that's special to them. A little episode of show and tell before the game gets underway. Anyway, the game is underway, the match is underway. Michael Smith, number three seed, and James Richardson for the right to meet Stephen Bunting One in the last 16 40. tomorrow. Get yourself together, Dan. <laughs> Sorry, man. Good start from Michael Smith, back to back ton 40s 45. and he's a man who's won three european tour titles michael smith only michael van gerwen and phil taylor has won more taylor's got four beating michael smith last time out in the final so it could have been the other way around a man of 40. he wasn't that far away from overcoming the power in the final in austria a little bit fortunate to find himself in that final Ooh. with Forty. The way he played, a little bit unfortunate for James Richardson 81. just to have 40 scored there, but he is a long way back. This will be treble 14 for Michael Smith, double 10. 71. This is inside, not a happy bunny, but he'll be back, looking at double 5. 58. Yeah, Michael Richardson, I think, can uh, forget about this leg, just put this one behind him, it's on the Smith throw, so on the first no particular leg. damage done Michael as Michael Smith, Smith takes out double James five at the, the first time of asking. Michael Smith also went close in uh, Munich this year as well, put together a decent run there, made the semi-finals where he lost 6-4 to Peter Wright. 100. He'll be desperate to avoid Mensor Sulovic, he's lost three times to him in uh, third round matches this year, in Venray, Jib and Hamburg. 57. Two of them 6-5 scorelines as well. Yes, it's Stephen Bunting who awaits the winner of this one. Bunting, very assured performance against Stefan wow, Stoika, knocking out the final German left in the tournament here in Dusseldorf. Won it 6-1 earlier on today. 94. Yeah, men saw a different part of the draw. They're same half same of half. the draw, so they meet yeah. in the semi-finals. Mm. And well, to be honest, Michael Smith is probably quite happy to face Mensor Sulovic in a semi-final because he does make a lot of semi-finals, Mensor, but he doesn't win any of them. Although, surely that, that'll change one day. does have a bit of a stranglehold on uh, Michael Smith. Beat him at the Players' Championship Finals at Minehead at the end of last year as well. Oh, lovely stuff. James Richardson, double 18. Well, I need a big one here, Michael Smith, to try and put some pressure on that double nine. Not the easiest double on the board, it has to be said. 99. Uh, probably not enough, 18. to be fair. Now he splits it. Down for double two. 14. Wow. Well, could require 156. The faint suggestion of a chance for Michael Smith. And with that, it disappears. It evaporates 17. into the ether. James require four. So, James Richardson to level things up. He's in the madhouse. Still there. Game shot on the second leg. James Richardson. Final dart in hand gets over the line. One apiece. Yeah, I couldn't find a record of previous meetings between one these two. So if they have clashed. It will just be a, a one off somewhere. In a pub. <laughs> Possibly. Just a random meeting. 43. Off the A42 somewhere. 
It'd be an all St. Helens clash in the second round if Michael Smith were to mm. win this. We have seen a couple of seeded players fall by the wayside this afternoon. Benito van der Pass, the number seven seed, beaten 6-4 by Daryl Gurney. Very accomplished Six. display from the Northern Irishman. And Robert Thornton as well, the mm. defending champion here. The defence is over. There'll be a different name of the trophy as there was last year, and it might all be the name of Michael Smith. Rattles in a 180. Yeah, and despite Michael Smith's excellent record on the European tour, this hasn't been his favourite venue, it has to be said. Admittedly, when he's lost, double 12, 11 data, take a 12. 57. He'll have another go. Yeah, he has been beaten by people playing very good darts at this venue. Last year it was Kim Hybrex who went all the way to the final. It was at this stage of the tournament that Michael Smith was beaten by Hybrex. The year before, he did make it through to the final day of action, but lost to Peter Wright, who ended up going and winning the whole thing. Game show on the, third the 14 day. data puts him 2-1 up in this one. James the throw first. A relatively strong start from the bully boy. Yeah, who is playing his first competitive match, 100. I suppose, since uh, his defeat by Steve Beaton in the last 16 of the world match play. 11-7 the score that day, so Smith with a, an opportunity here to put that one behind him. If, if that's possible. 77. Also beaten in the last 32 of the UK Open 80. as well. His debut season in the Premier League didn't go too well. He was relegated on judgment night as well. Just uh, one win in his nine matches that he played. Grimace. From 43. Michael Smith there kicked off 177, unable to follow it with any more perfect darts. To continue the dream of us seeing a nine dart on the European tour. It has been many moves. Didn't, well, yeah, since Austria, we've uh, passed the three year anniversary. 28th of June, I think it was, 2013, or 29th of June. Ah, yes. Something like that. Ross Smith Ross Day. Smith. Ross Smith Day, as it's... We, we've got the bunting out, street parties. Magical day. Oh, wow. and it was nearly a magical Sweet. visit from James Richardson. That's just spat 60 points out of the board. It did. It could do with those as well. Yeah, it could make a massive difference. It'd be on a two-darter, and Michael Smith... 127. Right, well, tried to leave himself double top, but he'll get two darts at it unless. Oh, he wasn't far away. Wasn't far away. Just seemed to pause for a second. Needed another treble to have a dart at double 19, but 14 for tops. He's a bit done. And the hard bit was made to look easy. It's 3 1, first break of throw, and Michael Smith is just motoring at the minute. It's good stuff. Yeah, he's uh, rattling through these uh, legs. He's got three on the board. And that was uh, a timely break of throat at the uh, midway point of this match. One approaching the midway point of this match. Halfway there. 102.6 plays 74 and a bit. That is a golf yeah. in terms of the averages. And look at the first nine averages as well. Mm. 28 points or so difference. That is, um, well, Smith is just getting to a flyer each and every time. Richardson just can't hurt him. Struggling to impose himself in any way, shape, or form here at the moment is uh, the supposedly ruthless James Richardson. Yes. He's not being so ruthless at the moment. Maybe distracted by the contents of his right trouser pocket as wow. well. Yeah, he, he walked on with something and then put it in there. <laughs> I must, if he's just joining us, by the way, I must quantify <laughs> and qualify exactly what I, mean, what I mean by that. If you were with us, you know what exactly what we're doing. Michael, we require 124. Michael Smith, 124 for a 4 1 lead. Treble 18. Bullseye. 99. Mm. He'll be back. He will be, and it'll be the 1 for double 12 oh. or 5 for double 10. And that's not really going to help, is it? 57. Mm. Cool. Fair enough. Russ had a quizzical look on his face there. He was just talking earlier about the few occasions where he has been taken by surprise. That was Game one of them, the but no surprise there to see Michael, Michael Smith, Smith finish off 15 darts at leg for a 4-1 lead. Game on. Yeah, if you're wondering why he went 13 there, single 13 with a left 170. A lot of players prefer the 170 as a, as a big shot than, say, the 167 or the mm. 161, just because you get to stick two in the same bed and go for the bullseye rather than having to yeah, switch down and hit two trebles. Oh, look at this, Michael Smith again. 100. 
25. Best average you've seen so far came from Mensal Sulevich. He had 12 data in the last leg to drag his average up against John Michael. It was 103 and a half in the end. Very impressive display from the man nicknamed The Gentle. But Michael Smith is motoring along at just over 102 and he's Robin Hood at it. 117. Absolutely skewered his own flight there. But still got 117 with his two darts. 140. Well, looking at the averages, if he was just throwing two darts, his average <laughs> wouldn't be that far away. It from wouldn't be, no. James Richardson's. 94. James requires well, A little bit unfortunate there. That's mm. left him a bogey number. So Richardson has got a bit of time to play with here, but he may not need James any more time. 103 leg. checkout for a 12 James darter. Richardson, seventh leg, Michael to throw first. Yeah, just times here where Michael Smith just looks a little bit disappointed with himself. One or two stray darts, but uh, overall it's been uh, very, very solid stuff from uh, Michael Smith. But James Richardson just showing one or two signs of life here. Well, look, I mean, he's had two good legs as Richardson. That 12 darter, obviously, he won the second leg. He ended up messing around on doubles and finally pinning double one, but he had five missed darts. More points on the floor there. Yeah, just have a little helping hand from, well, gravity. Round 35. And for the first time, he's really attacking a Michael Smith throw, but One Smith round just keeps hitting the treble bed, and it's giving him a bit of a cushion. Needs a big one. Oh, look at this. One oh, round unfortunately, again. Oh, and again, you know, well, 123 is gettable. Unless the 150 goes. Yeah, you can see. One on red on five. James sucking the air through his cheeks there. And now then, James. Oh, he wanted that for the bull. Treble 18, he's missed it. 91. Michael, you require 45. For 5 2. And to go within a leg of the last 16. There's the 5. 25. Can't find the 40 James and James Richardson to break back and suddenly it's a very very different game James it's a very leg. different game indeed James he Richardson. has broken back 4-1 becomes 4-3 Richardson with the throw hit still effectively needs to find another break because Smith threw first but this is all good stuff from James Richardson he's moving in the right direction 81. once again well, we have seen Darrell Gurn has been the master of this over the course of the weekend where he's been put under pressure early, had to survive a dart to basically go so far behind. You're not sure he could well, turn it around, faulty. but then he has turned it around. Did so against Robbie Green. Could have gone 5-1 down, survived a dart and won it in a deciding leg. Could have gone 5-2 down Fault to Benito well. van der Pass, won that 6-4. So James Richardson will be hoping to emulate the Northern Irishman and... 60. Flip this around. Well, I think Smith's average is taking a bit of a nosedive here. 40. And he's still around about a 100 mark. So yeah, tidy darts. Just that one leg has taken six visits to the board. Eight Everything five. else has been in five. And that 12 darter from Richardson in the sixth leg. 99. He's stolen a march on Richardson here. Richardson made the quarterfinals of a European Tour event early this year. His first quarterfinal in the PDC ranking event for four years. Yeah, uh, made it in Austria in 2012, didn't he? 87. Yeah. And back on the uh, European map is James Richardson. Oh, darts like this. One Leaves himself a two One darter one now. Big visit this, starting on the 19s. Trouble 20. Doesn't get it. 57. So Richardson, James treble 20 for double number. top for a level game. Mm. Great dart. Moves across. Doesn't want to catch the flight of that first one. That's not in hand. Topsy leads. 80. Ooh. Michael requires 72. I think Michael Smith might have been resigned to losing uh, the eighth leg there, but uh, he's back on the stage. Topsy wants then for a 5-3 lead, on the eighth leg. and that has been Michael punished. Smith, James play. Richardson missed darts Michael to throw first. for a four-all scoreline, and Smith punishes him with a 72 checkout.
Game on. And the situation has been uh, retrieved here for Michael Smith. He's one leg away now from the last 16. And that will really hurt James Richardson because he had a great, great chance to put even more pressure on Michael Smith. 57. Hey, well, he's got the throw in two of the remaining three legs, Michael Smith. He is a heavy, heavy favourite to see this game out and set up a St. Helens clash wow, with Stephen Fonsi. Bunting in the last 16 tomorrow afternoon. We have got some big names on the way tonight. World champion Gary Anderson, world number one Michael Van Gerwen. Former winner here in Dusseldorf, Peter Snake Mike Wright. Big scoring Dave Chisnell, the ever popular in Dusseldorf, Simon Whitlock. Right 34. Kim Hybrex, finalist here last year. James Wade, Alan Norris. And his what son right evening we've 23. got lined up for you. And Michael Smith is looking to make sure he's through to the final day of action but oh, oh my word. word what an absolute well, gift for smith that i'll man. be honest it's happened a lot today for richardson yeah but that is just i mean that that one's bounced out of the treble one the first one it looked really really high so it's not as if he's lost 57. a lot of points there james richardson but it's got to be frustrating when only a third of your darts stick in the board of it so that was the uh, the new record for the, uh, for the lowest visit, three. Michael, you require 164. By 49. And that was a careless visit from James Richardson. He's gone for the 14 to leave 170. And he's hit 14. the nine. So he's not on a finish. The thing is, though, he's had a visit of three and 49. And yet he's not a million miles away hit. And he scored some 95 left. Go for the ball. Yeah, he went that way. Hit the 17 though. So one, two, four, four. The match. Treble 20. Treble 18 for Bullseye. Not to be. Leaves himself 32 for the match. But Richardson a chance to pull a leg back and keep his hopes alive. 20 for double top. That's a bit of a blocker. Moves over to the left. A long way to the left. Missed it in the last leg, didn't he? Oh, takes it out this time though. James Richardson. Missed double Same 20 for a four-all scoreline, but he takes it there. Game on. And he's broken back once again. The ebb and the flow of this final match of the afternoon session continues, and Michael Smith isn't there yet. He's still got a little bit more to do, and there's three points on the floor. So, again, not uh, particularly damaging for uh, James Richardson. And Michael Smith just needs to 59. retain his call. We saw in Austria a couple of occasions in his run to the final that he did lose his rag and a bit of the old petulance that we used to see from Michael Smith as a younger man on the dartboard it kind of returned and he was very fortunate to survive some match darts against the likes of 100. Mark Frost he does have to throw in the deciding leg if it goes that far and right now James Richardson is in a decent place to Try and force that deciding leg, but here comes Michael Smith, and it's a 180, but it doesn't get him to a finish. So Richardson knows he's got six darts from here, and he's already chucking his first dart before Ross even gets to the 80 bit of his ball. <laughs> 100. Is that enough from James Richardson? Maybe forced to take out the 108 to stay alive in this tournament. 65. James require 108. Got to find a treble. Does find a treble. The men saw the double 14. He's missed inside by quite some way. And Michael Smith may get. Match starts here. Treble 19 would give two at tops. Gets the treble. Two, a double top. Only needs the one. And Michael Smith wraps it up with a 14 data. 6-4. And the number three seed and three-time Euro Tour winner is safely through to the final day of action here at the Happy Bet European Darts Open. He will take on Stephen Bunting, the bullet, the former Lakeside World Champion. We do have a star-studded evening session coming for you in a couple of hours' time here from Dusseldorf and the Maritime Hotel. It kicks off with Simon Whitlock against Gerwin Trice. Then we'll get to see the likes of Gary Anderson and Michael Van Gerwin, James Wade and Peter Wright. We'll grab a few words with Michael James Smith, Richardson, the sixth seeded player through from this afternoon's session, which has seen Benito van der Pass, the number seven seed, the and the defending champion Robert Thornton fall by the wayside. The outcome also on the opposite side. Michael, congratulations. That was, that was, a, was, a, was a, a tough one at the end. Yeah, it wasn't so tough at the beginning. I was hitting everything, then the troubles kind of closed up and I couldn't find them, but... Managed to dig deep and find something from somewhere. 
that 180 in the last leg kind of saved me, then put him under the pressure. And then the 97 checkout, so I was, the finishing was good. Scoring can be worked on, but I'm still in, so I can get preferred for tomorrow now. You already won three European Tour titles. Is that a good feeling to come to the European Tour? It's always good vibrations? Yeah, because I'm not chasing events instead of, I'm, I can get to playing them now because I've already won them. And I think, is this the one I've, I think I've won back to back now? So I've got to go for the third. But as long as I keep winning and keep doing what I can do, I'll be happy, that's all. See you tomorrow again. Thank you very much. Michael Smith, der Bully Boy. Der ist froh, dass er im Turnier ist. Er weiß, er kann sich noch steigern.